Future Wear Flavor and Design Collide. Today I'm going to share with you how I decorated some candy cookies. If you are looking for trick or treat ideas for this 2020, I hope that these cookies will inspire you to bake some for your kids or invite your kids to bake them and decorate them together. These cookies are super easy and I bet that the kids will love them and also I'm pretty sure that they're going to have a lot of fun making these cookies. So I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make some candies and lollipop cookies just using a circle and a triangle cookie cutter. Don't worry if you don't have the exact cookie cutter to make a candy, you always can use some of the cookie cutters that you have on your cookie cutter collection. First, we're going to start by cutting out our cookies and for this you're going to need these materials. You're going to need some egg wash, toothpicks, circle cookie cutters of different sizes, A triangle cookie cutter like this one or any one you have I cut out circles of different sizes and then I put them on my baking sheet that is lined with my baking mat to have my egg wash and my toothpicks I'm gonna put them just the tip okay and then I am going to insert it in this little circle very careful because the cookie dough is very soft so you have to insert it but you need to be careful that the circle doesn't look is shape. Okay, so that's a lollipop. Another way that you can do this is very easy. You flip your cookie wet with the and then you can do it just like this very carefully and then you flip up okay. okay both ways works very nice but when you insert it in the middle you cannot see the stick on the back so it looks neater so I'm gonna do the same thing for this one And this is another way on how you can make the lollipop cookie. Now we're gonna do these candies, okay? So we have two triangles and one circle. We're gonna use our brush and dip it in the egg wash. And just going to put a little bit on the edges of the circle where you're going to glue the rectangles. I also cut out some little pumpkins and I make a big candy using one of the bigger circles. And I throw some other cookies for my next break. Okay, so these babies are ready to be baked. Now you're going to bake your cookies. You're going to preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees and you're going to bake your cookies for 8 to 10 minutes. Like these cookies are very small, they bake faster. So as you can see the cookies are golden in the back. So they're ready, I'm going to let them cool down for a little bit. Do you remember that we stick the toothpick in two different ways? This is one. the other one as you can see you can see the stick 
Now it's time to decorate those cookies. For this project I am going to use Magic Consistency Icing and I will tint it in different colors. First I'm going to use the natural color. I tinted a little bit of green, hot pink, and I tinted a little bit in neon bright orange and I put it in a squeezing bottle with the decorating tip number two. And then I also tinted a little bit of turquoise icing and I put it in a squeezing bottle too with the decorating tip number two. So those are the main colors that you're going to use but obviously you can use any colors of your choice. After you prepare your icing you need to let it sit for a little bit and then pop up the bubbles if they have on the surface and always cover them. It could be with a plastic wrap or with lids if you have some. to use this edible color spray to make some fine medium effect. consistency icing in natural color that I put in a paste edible marker very good I have here everything I will need to make these cute cookies I have my cookies I have my icings my spatula and some squeezing bottles a napkin and some toothpicks so I'm ready to start working on these cookies As you can imagine, there is always so many different ways on how you can decorate a cookie, okay? So for the candies, I am going to start by putting a little bit of white icing into triangle. I'm gonna let it dry. And here I have the other one that I made using a bigger circle. So I'm going to also put the white icing. Then, then I'm going to put a little bit of pink icing here. And now I am going to use a wet on wet technique, okay? And I am going to make some swirls. For this, your icing needs to have the same consistency, okay? super cute and you can do the same technique on these other tiny candies okay Now we're gonna let dry our cookies completely. Now I'm ready to make the last touches to this cookie. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope that you like this video and if you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, push the notification button, leave me any comment, question or suggestion, follow me on my social media and always be super creative in all your baking, particularly in your cookie decorating. See you until next time. Bye bye.